country. I really do. Yes. Hey dee, hey dee ho. The great big elephant is so slow. She swings her trunk from side to side. She's terribly big and terribly wide. And people shout wherever she goes. Hey dee, hey dee ho. The elephant is so slow. Oh, and just in time, Hickory, as the magic wore off the good old banana microphone. And you know, dear, I do like that song, I have to say. Oh, it's the puppet. Hello, my little puppets, and welcome to story time. Well, you just caught me singing Haley Ho with Hickory, and this is Hickory here. I haven't seen Hickory in quite a long time, and he's come back from a very long journey with all the other elephants. And you haven't been very well, Hickory, have you? What's that, dear? You had a broken trunk. Yes, I know that you did. Although I have to say, Hickory, it's looking a lot better. You had to have a bandage on it for quite a while, didn't you, dear? Yes, you did. Well, my little poppets, we might pop Hickory down for just a moment, and I suppose we should get on with today's story. So, Hickory, dear, you can sit with Stinky, who's relaxing down there under the tree, because my little poppets, it is quite warm today, so that's why we're outside. Now, cracking on, because I don't want to waffle on too much, I suppose you've checked out today's story time cake. There's a lovely uh, elephant on the top there with a pair of glasses. And today's story, my little poppets, is called I Broke My Trunk. Look at that. I broke my trunk. Oh dear, oh dear. And he does look as though he has a rather lovely bandage on his trunk because um, it's quite sore, I do believe. I broke my trunk, and this does look like a good one, I have to say. And here we go, my little poppets. I have not seen Gerald today. Why? Well, I think Gerald is the elephant there with the broken trunk. I could be wrong, but I think that that is Gerald, I think. I think that's Gerald there. Gerald! What happened to your trunk? Yes, I was right. Gerald is the elephant. Look at that. I wonder what's happened to his trunk. I don't know. It does look very sore. I broke my trunk. How did you break your trunk? Well, the pig is wanting to know how Gerald broke his trunk. Look at that. He's wanting to know how he broke the trunk. I wonder how he broke it. I don't know. It is a long, crazy story. Tell it. Oh, please tell it. The pig wants to know how the elephant broke his trunk. I wonder how he did break it. I don't know. Perhaps he fell over and had a nasty fall. Well, I was playing with Hippo. So there's Gerald there, and he's playing with the Hippo. Look at that, playing with the Hippo. It looks like they're having lots of fun there. It looks like they're dancing there to me. I think. Then I had an idea. I wanted to lift Hippo onto my trunk. Why? asks the pig. Yes, I wonder why he wanted to lift the Hippo up. I don't know. Perhaps he just thought it would be a fun thing to do. Because, okay, says the pig. I suppose we're going to get to the reason in just a minute why he wanted to pick him up. I hope so. I'm, my curiosity is building, I have to say. So I lifted Hippo onto my trunk. And there's Gerald the elephant, and he's lifting up Hippo onto the very tip of his trunk. Look at that. And Hippos are quite large, so that would be uh, very, very heavy, I have to say. But a Hippo on your trunk is heavy. Well, Gerald, that's what I was just saying. Very, very heavy. Indeed, I saw some hippos at the zoo and they are very large animals and not the sort of animal you would want to have on the tip of your trunk. Is that how you broke your trunk? No, there is more to my story. Well, that's not how he broke his trunk at all. There's uh, another reason why his trunk is broken and it has nothing to do with the hippo. Then Rhino showed up. Well, there's Rhino. Do you think, my little poppets, that perhaps Rhino was on the tip of the trunk? I don't know. Perhaps 
that's how the trunk got broken. A rhino and a hippo on the end of a trunk, not a good idea. Rhino wanted a turn. What did she do? asks the pig. Yes, well, it's an awful lot of weight to have on the end of one's trunk, I have to say. An awful lot of weight. I lifted both of them onto my trunk, says Gerald. Silly old Gerald, fancy doing that, lifting them both on his trunk. Silly, silly elephant, I have to say. Very silly indeed. But a hippo and a rhino on your trunk are very heavy. Yes, they are. And there they are once again. Look at that. Very silly Gerald. Is that how you broke your trunk? No, there is more to my story. Well, that's not the reason how he broke the trunk. I thought it was, but apparently it isn't. I wonder how he did break it. Then Hippo's sister showed up. Hippo has a sister, asks the pig. And there's the pig chatting away there to Gerald. It's quite a long story, isn't it, about how he broke his trunk. A big sister? Yes, a very big sister indeed. Look at that, look how big she is. She's enormous, absolutely enormous. Did she want to turn to? Yes, says Gerald. Oh, she wanted a turn as well. No wonder poor Gerald's trunk broke. That's ridiculous. He can't balance her on the tip of his trunk. Silly elephant. She also wanted to play her piano. Her piano, my little poppets. Do you think you can play a piano on the tip of an elephant's trunk? I don't think so, can you? Look at that. Oh. Two hippos, one rhino and a piano on your trunk are very, very heavy. Well, they certainly are. Tremendously heavy. Look at that. Very heavy indeed. Is that how you broke your trunk? No. This is a long, crazy story. Yes, it definitely is a very long and crazy story. I have to agree. It certainly is. Gerald, how did you break your trunk? Well, the pig is doing his uh, block there. He's gone bananas because of this long drawn out story about how Gerald broke his trunk. And I'm starting to understand a little bit how the pig is feeling, I have to say. Well, I was so proud of what I had done that I ran to tell my very best friend about it. And there's Gerald there looking very pleased with himself, with the pig, of course. But I tripped and fell. Whoops! Oh, he tripped and fell. Perhaps he tripped on a banana peel. I don't know. If you stand on a banana peel, you'll slip over for sure. And broke my trunk. You broke your trunk running to tell me your story, says the pig. I think he's quite shocked. That's not what he was expecting. Definitely not. That is a crazy story. That is a funny story, says Gerald. Well, I think Gerald thinks it's quite a wonderful tale that he's told the pig. I think he feels quite proud that his trunk is broken because of the long story. I want to tell someone your crazy story, says the pig. And there's pig running off to tell someone else about Gerald's story. Look at that. Piggy, what happened to your snout? It is a long and crazy story. Oh dear, and now something has happened to poor pig. Look at that. Something has happened to poor pig. The end! And that was called, I broke my trunk. And there he is, poor old Gerald on the cover there with a broken trunk. Well, a wonderful book, a different book, and that's exactly what I like. I do like different stories. That's what's so wonderful about books, you get something different all the time. Well, I forgot to mention at the beginning before I read the book, 
Um, we have a wonderful cake here with an elephant on top. Well, perhaps I did mention it. It's rather hot today, so perhaps I did and I've forgotten. We'll mention it again anyway. A wonderful cake with some glasses on the very top. Well, I might have a chat to Stinky because we haven't seen Stinky because we were talking to dear old Hickory there. Stinky, my friend, did you enjoy the book, dear? You did? Oh, that's wonderful. What have you been doing down there? You've been chatting away to Hickory. Yes, it's wonderful to see him again, isn't it? It certainly is. What's that? It's a very hot day. Yes, it is a very hot day. That's why we've had story time outside, dear, because it's particularly warm today. And I think as the months go on, we probably will have uh, a few more story times outside, as long as it's not too hot. Well, my little poppets, I hope you enjoyed that story. I broke my trunk. Perhaps you could pretend to be an elephant with a great big long trunk or make a story time cake with a very smart Gerald the Elephant on top. And as always, take care. Thanks for watching and until next time.